I think we deserve some more clues. Uh, hoping they don't give too, too much away. <laughs> it's Swan. <laughs> Behold the swan. Swans might be known for being beautiful birds, but when I think of swans, I think of their loyalty, their strength, and their independence. You think American? Yeah. American independence? I'm definitely a loyal kind of person. It's one of my biggest strengths. Swans enjoy certain liberty. They have the freedom to spread their wings. That's a ballroom, that's a ballroom. I've been on Strictly Come Dancing. There's also something loyal about a swan, and they always seem like they're in a calm state. Lady is mine. Becoming the swan has felt like I've come full circle from where it all began. Tonight will be my first performance, and I just hope it won't be my final swan song. The studio audience voted for their favourite mass singer, Swan or Dragon. The winner will survive to sing another day, but one will risk being unmasked at the end of the show. When I can reveal the mass singer with the most votes and keeping their mask firmly on is... <laughs> it's Dragon! Yay! Swan, you are now in our bottom three. I'm sorry. Later, the panel will decide if you will remain in the competition or be unmasked at the end of the show. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Swan, everyone. <laughs> In my last performance, I led the panel on a merry dance. Kimberly Wyatt. Ashley Roberts. Michelle Visage. Gordon Ramsay. That don't impress me Dragon! I lost that to Dragon, but it was only the opening act. This 
evening, the poles will open once more for Swan. Swans are quite noble creatures. They have a sense of regalness and purpose. Remember the royal family? Perhaps that's why I've served not one, but two prime ministers. Served in a pub, looks like. I even had dealings with more than one president of the USA. Two presidents? <laughs> Rubbing shoulders with some of the most influential people in the world has definitely been a pinch yourself moment. Everybody's looking for that something. Some of the places I've been, I never could have guessed. But the blessing of having wings is that you never know where they might take you. You know how much that. Tonight, I'm sticking my neck out and hoping I'm not the ugly duckling of the competition. I really think these friends are American. Do you think so? Results are in. There we go. Oh my gosh. And I can reveal that in no particular order, the mass singers going through are. Oh. Joining Badger and Dragon is... It's Robin! Wow! Yes! That means Sausage and Swan. What? You will be performing again in tonight's Face Off. So shocking. After each of you have performed, the panel will decide which one of you will stay in the competition and which one of you will be removing your mask at the end of the show. The rest of you, please head on down to the tunnel. Thank you so much. <laughs> head off, Badger. Down this way. Dragon, come on. Back into your castle. He's so beautiful. That costume's amazing. That 
wonder what she's going to lap the bag for us. Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, my God, I love this song. So. Oh, it's a real country vibe, but... Mississippi in the middle of the dry spell. Woo! Jimmy Rogers on the victory of high. Mama's dancing with baby on her shoulder. The sun is setting like molasses in the sky. The boy can sing. It's like two really good singers that I don't even want to leave the competition. But the masked singer we are keeping is... We'll see you again next time. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Sausage. Wow. Swan, I'm so sorry, but your time on The Masked Singer has come to an end, and very shortly you will be removing your mask. But first, panel, who do you oh. think is behind the mask? Davina. I thought the girl band Clue out of Two Lies and the Truth was the right one because having seen those really sexy moves, it really, really makes me think of Kimberly Wyatt from the Pussycat Dolls. Mo Gilligan. I think that American accent is real. Ballroom, the dancing connection, the presidents. I'm going for another Pussycat Dolls, so I'm going for Ashley Roberts. Again, it's a great guess. Jonathan. I was thinking about the clothes and I'm thinking, OK, President and Prime Minister, and that's making me think about the film Love Actually, of course, and I think that's Martine McCutcheon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Such a good show. Wow, you really waited till the end for that yeah. one, didn't you? Pulled that one out of the bag. Sneaky, he did. <laughs> Unlike Jonathan, I'm out in the open and I'm for sharing. <laughs> And so I'm going to stick with my guest, Dina Menzel, from the musical Wicked and Frozen. Dina Menzel. Well, let's see if any of you are right. It's time to find out the identity of our masked singer. Oh, I'm so excited! Swan, who's behind the mask? Take it off! Multi-platinum selling star of stage and screen. Oh. <laughs> Jonathan, you're right. 
I was right for once. Came in at the last minute, swooped in. Because I do remember you telling me you were in a girl band. Were they called Memphis or um, Milan? Milan. Milan, that's it. Yeah, yeah I remember that we years ago. We were signed to Polydor when we were like 14 years old. So I felt like a washed up has been by the time I was 18. Oh, no. And of course, the Prime Minister from Love Actually, that was when you said yeah. that. I was like, well, I, oh. I was confused though, because I know the Prime Minister, it was Hugh Grant was in the film. Yes. yes. There was a Prime Minister and two presidents. The president, obviously, we had in Love Actually. Really? And then I got to be Liza Minnelli's wedding guest. I was her bridesmaid. And sat next to me was Donald Trump. Make oh, of that no. what you will. Oh, so, yeah, wow. that, that was that link. Thank God you don't know him now. <laughs> But your voice, you obviously disguised your it. It was voice. so good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so I guess the royal connection would be the Queen Vic. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Martine, I've yeah. just got to say, you look fantastic. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. And why decide to do the mask thing? I just thought it would be so lovely just to just come up and have fun. I completely agree. Well, everyone, it's Martin McCutcheon. Yay. Thank you.